What's up guys, Mustang Matt here, and today we are actually doing another car review that we, we haven't really done that in a while. So, coming back into car reviews a little bit, I think this one's going to be a really good one to kind of jump back into it a little bit. Uh, definitely, probably one of the coolest things I've driven, and it's definitely the oldest vehicle I've ever driven, and probably the oldest vehicle I ever will drive. <music> So this is a 1949 Chevrolet 3100 truck. Now, this is my buddy Colton's. My buddy Colton is over there. And this is one of the coolest things ever. Now, it has LED headlights and it has American racing wheels. So it's, it's like slightly modernized, but not completely. I mean, that's about the only thing to modernize this truck. Other than that, it has a completely original look and feel to it. I'll show you guys the inside here a little bit. And you know, the inside is pretty much like you would expect out of a 49 Chevy. This it's possibly, honestly, it's probably one of the coolest things that'll drive, like ever. But so we're gonna uh, go out and we're gonna take a little drive in this, and we're gonna see how it does. All right, guys, what's up? We are in the '49 Chevy, and <laughs> I'm sorry. my friends are acting like idiots. <laughs> Now, this truck actually, it sounds like a V8, but it's actually not. It's actually a V6. Uh, it's a Chevy 4.3 liter Vortec V6, which is basically a 350 with two cylinders cut off. Brakes are right pretty up, touchy. Yeah, brakes are pretty touchy, but it drives like you would think an old truck like this would drive. I mean, it, there's, there's really nothing much more to it. I expected the steering to be a little bit lighter just because some of the older vehicles I've driven in like like 70s vehicles and 80s vehicles the steering is so light you can like basically take your pinky finger and do this with it. This isn't quite like that. It's the it's a little bit more stiff, more like a modern steering. The steering wheel is freaking huge, which probably contributes to that. But I don't know, I like this truck a lot. It's a very cool truck. This truck is like the ultimate classic weekend cruiser. I mean, you have old muscle cars that are used for cruisers, but they still have a lot of, a lot of power to them, a lot of kick. This is just kind of a, a really relaxed, just cool, head-turning build. I don't, I don't know, it's, it's just something completely different. It's in a totally different league from everything that I'm used to and that my viewers are used to, you know, you guys are used to just watching stuff like Forza and the other car reviews that I do where they're like sports cars. This is entirely, completely opposite. It has nothing to do with that. Now, there's really not much safety to be had in this truck. I mean, it's got a basic lap belt steering or um, seat belt. And other than that, I mean, there's pretty much nothing. If you get, if you were to get hit in this thing, you'd probably die. Like, it'd probably be. It very, would not be good. It'd probably be very bloody, no, a mess. Sorry for the uh, the little graphic representation there, but it, it wouldn't be good. Yeah, they're they're all looking. They're like, oh my 
God. <laughs> Everything about this truck is very brutal. Uh, it's clunky. I mean, it, it, there's all kinds of sounds that, you know, there aren't normally. Give me just a second. It's very loud, very, very loud. It's it's not exactly perfectly sealed off. I hope you guys can still hear me, but it's a little bit sketchy to drive at higher speeds. I'm not gonna lie. It rides really nice though. It's a really comfortable vehicle, you know, aside from all the metal clunking together and everything. All that stuff just kind of goes along with the character of it though. I mean, it's just, it's an old rusty truck. It's just, it's it's just raw. And that's, that's what I like about it. That's what gives it the character. That's what makes it cool. If you were to take this truck and sandblast it and, you know, paint it like whatever, candy apple red is like the stereotypical classic car paint. But what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? There's no, I mean, it, yeah, it's nice. It looks good and all, it's clean. But it just doesn't have the same amount of character that's like a light. You can make big loop. All right. I assume there's not turn signals. No. <laughs> not in uh, not in 1949. It used to have turn signals, but <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. Uh, well, they broke. And as for the interior of it, I mean, it's just plain cool. I mean, you have like beer cans making up the floorboard that old classic Chevy steering wheel with, you know, the chrome accents and stuff on it. I mean, really super basic gauges, you know, chrome, more chrome styling. It's just, it's like the epitome of the 40s and 50s, and it's it's just awesome. It's great. It's it's a real good throwback to the 50s. It's, it's nostalgia. This is nostalgia in a truck. All we need is a little bit of 50 swing music, and then I think we'll be good. So what's the story behind this truck, Colton? I mean, your dad got it, obviously, and started working on it, but where did it start? It started with a guy in Arizona, <laughs> and he built it. All we've done is put a new motor in it, well, somewhat new. Yeah. And fixed New to the things. truck. Fixed a few things, like the exhaust. So is, is the paint original and everything? Of course. Yeah, and that's, that's, like I said, that's what gives it that character. And, you know, if you were to repaint it, it just wouldn't be the same. I mean, I enjoy those builds, but at the same time, this just has that, that wow factor that you, you just can't deny. It's, it's going to be one of those head-turning things no matter who you are. Any vehicle enthusiast really should look at this truck and be like, wow, that's where it all started, kind of. And honestly, it drives kind of nice. I mean, this is something I could get used to. It's not exactly a daily, but it's, it's not, I mean, it's, like I said, it's kind of a brutal truck. You have all kinds of sounds. The engine noise is like in your face, but at the same time, I don't know, it's, it's just relaxing to cruise in. And it's, it's not, as far as the drivability of it, that's not brutal. It's really relaxed and really comfortable. And that's, that really, that's like one of the biggest factors of the enjoyability of the truck. I mean, it's got the cool factor and the looks of it, and then you get in and start riding around, and that's just as enjoyable as looking at it. Power! And I think, alright, that was like a, that was like a, a 40 to 70. <laughs> it's just not about the speed though it's it's one of those things that speed really is irrelevant it just doesn't matter everybody's looking like everybody that guy in the uh the emergency service the vehicle is like he's like trying not to stare he's like trying to fight it <laughs> but at the same time he really wants to stare race car grip on the steering wheel is like impossible it's so big it feels like steering a semi that's how big the steering wheel is it's
it's literally like a it's like a two foot diameter steering wheel it's insane all in all though i really like this truck i mean it's it's just cool and it's a really great cruiser great show vehicle i it's, it's going to turn everybody's heads at any car show like i said earlier like i showed you guys earlier with just a little bit of modern styling it kind of it kind of makes the truck a little more relatable to people like me that are you know in their 20s and you guys who are like teenagers to 20s maybe 30s all right well sorry people behind me there's no turn signals it's an old truck i'm sorry that lady's staring she just like looked at it and smiled like it was brought her back to her childhood <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Colton, for letting me take it out for a spin and give it a little review and do a video on it. No Definitely problem. a very cool experience to be able to drive something like this. Definitely not an experience that a lot of people have. And it's it's really cool to have that experience. So thank you for that. You guys can follow Colton on Instagram. It is Colton underscore W. Um, this is not his you know daily car. His daily car is in the shop right now with completely shot clutch yeah <laughs> about that track day is kind of killed it yeah but it's a really cool build um i'm not going to tell you guys what it is maybe i'll get to review it later on but if you guys want to know what it is go hit up his instagram i'll put a link in the description down below but thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this review uh, i know i haven't done one in a while but if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up comment down below on what you think of the 49 chevy 3100 and, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed, hit that red subscribe button down below for more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching.